Not yet Uhuru says opposition as Zimbabwe marks Independence Day. Zimbabwe's opposition leaders say the majority of citizens in the country are far from enjoying the benefits of independence whose ethos has been destroyed by the ruling party ZANU-PF. The country, Thursday, celebrated its 44th Independence Day on the backdrop of harsh economic conditions prevailing. Opposition leader Nelson Chamisa said the independence of the country has benefited the few elites. Independence is empty without the dignity and happiness of its beneficiaries. Zimbabwe shall be free and happy in our lifetime. Independence and freedom can't be for a few, said Chimisa. The economic downturn has decimated the salaries of the working class who have been sent into abject poverty. This, Movement for Democratic Change MDC leader Douglas Mionzera says has betrayed the values of the liberation fight. The echoes of their bravery still reverberate and reminds us of the principles for which they fought for. Yet, the promise of independence remains unfulfilled for many. Our beloved Zimbabwe now grapples with social strife, entrenched poverty, rampant corruption, and a disregard for the rule of law. Our nation, once a beacon of hope, now finds itself ensnared in the clutches of tyranny and despair. We cannot turn a blind eye to the injustices perpetrated in the name of independence. We will not stand idly by as the wealth of our nation is plundered, leaving our people destitute and disenfranchised," said Mwanzora. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.